This is the number one reason your photography business isn't growing. Hey guys, my name is Ryan here at Signature Edits. We talk everything photography on this channel, but today we are talking about photography marketing, specifically the reason that your business isn't growing the way you want it to. Now, I was working out this morning listening to a podcast by a guy named Alex Hermosi. You should look him up. He does all sorts of awesome marketing content, and he was talking about the reason most businesses out there don't grow, and I thought it really translated especially well into why most photography businesses don't grow, and he said, you know what? If you have previous clients, the issue isn't your marketing. It's not your Facebook. It's not your Instagram. It's not the lack of ad spend. The reason that your business isn't growing the way you want it to be growing is because the product wasn't good enough for those customers to go out and tell more people, to tell others about your service and bring you more customers. And if they aren't doing that, if you've had customers in the past and you've done a few real estate shoots or portrait shoots or weddings or whatever, and those people haven't felt the need to go out and brag about you and rave about you and recommend you to all their friends and contacts, well, then your product still has some room to grow. And if your product isn't that level of experience, you're going to keep struggling until you fix that issue. Like that's the root of all of this. So the real question is why? Why isn't your product and your service at such a level that it's bringing in referrals? And so there's a few questions we can ask to actually work on creating this. Um, but I just wanted to say, First off, you need to ask yourself that why question because most photographers, they spend all their time worrying about the marketing. So we spend our time trying to get that Instagram following, try to grow that Facebook group or that YouTube channel or whatever it is. We spend all of our time on the marketing, trying to get customers, but we spend very little time on the actual getting the customers to bring us more customers by creating a better product and a better service. And when you look at the most successful studios and photographers out there, their services are what really set them apart. They've got this massive referral network that is bringing them in clients. They don't have to spend all their time on Instagram because they've got this referral pipeline of people who are just bragging about them and all of a sudden their business takes off. So that's what you gotta do. You gotta create the kind of experience that is going to bring you referrals, okay? Now, there's three main questions we gotta ask ourselves to actually improve this product to the level that is going to create that wow experience for your customers. So I want you to grab a piece of paper, set aside some time, get into a quiet place, and just ask yourself these questions. Work through them. Don't get interrupted because I promise you this is the most important thing you could possibly do with your marketing is to work on your process and work on your service, your product. Because when you do that, that kind of effort pays off in the long term. When you work on your Instagram feed, that's not really going to do much for you other than that single post might create a couple of referrals. Whereas if you create a better process, that process is going to continue to pay day after day after day as people go out and talk about your business. Okay. So <clears throat> with that out of the way, let's get these questions out of here. First, question number one, if you were charging 10 times as much as you're charging right now, so I want you to take the number, whatever it is. So let's say you charge 300 bucks for a real estate shoot, or you charge 1200 bucks for a wedding, or you charge 5,000 bucks for a fashion shoot. I don't know. Write that number down and then times it by 10. Add a zero to the end. If that's how much you were charging in your business, what kind of value would you have to provide in that price range to make it entirely worth it to the client? Ask yourself that. If I were charging 10 times as much, what would I have to be providing my client to make them absolutely happy with what they paid? For them to say, that was... 100% worth it. So just take some time, write that down because that number, that, <laughs> that number, that concept is what's going to create that kind of product experience that just wows people, right? If you can make it worth 10 times what they're paying, they're going to feel like they got a deal. And if they feel like they got absolutely more than they ever expected, they're going to talk about it to other people. Okay. Question number two, if you were charging one tenth, so take the number that you just had, the number that you normally charge and scratch a zero off, add a desperate, or erase a decimal point. So if you charge 500 bucks, now you're charging 50 bucks. If you're charging 50 bucks for a service you used to charge 500 bucks for, what would you have to add or change in order to provide that service for that price point and actually make it even better than it is right now? Okay, and the reason we're asking this question is because we don't wanna just create more and more and more and make less and less money. We wanna work on our profit. So if we're more profitable in our business and we can manage to bring the overall price down by while providing more service, then we're going to be actually creating more value overall, right? Okay, now question number three, this is the really cool one, the big one, if you were only ever able to get one more customer through your social media, through your marketing, through your ads, whatever it is, one more customer, and everything depended on this customer to go out and tell more people. That's the only way you could get more customers in the future. The only way you'll get more bookings is by this person having such an experience, they go out and say, wow, this was amazing. 
What would you have to add or change about your service right now as it is? If you ask these kind of questions, number one, how could I charge 10 times as much and make my clients feel like they got absolutely more than they paid for? What could I add? What could I do? What could I change? Number two, if I were to charge one-tenth the amount, what would I have to change in the way I'm doing business right now? How would I have to change the service? How would I have to get creative in the way I deliver things in order to provide the same or more value than I provide right now for one-tenth the price? And question number three, if I had one more customer coming into my door and the rest had to come from them, it had to be referrals, what would I have to do and what would I do with that customer to make sure that they were going to refer me to all their friends, all their neighbors, all the people they met on the street, right? Once you answer these three questions, you're going to have a roadmap that can totally change the product and service you create. Now, here's the truth. Amateurs focus on getting sales. Pros focus on getting customers to get sales. Does that make sense? So instead of focusing on getting the sale to get a customer, you focus on getting customers to get you sales. And when you change the approach, you're focusing more on your product and your service, creating that wow experience. All of a sudden, your marketing is going to explode. Because with traditional marketing, with Instagram, you create a post, it might get you a lead. Maybe. Maybe somebody will reach out and maybe that'll turn it into a booking. But you know what? Tomorrow, that post is lost in the newsfeed. Newsfeed, that's Facebook. Whatever. <laughs> it's lost in the algorithm. It's never going to show up again. And so, tomorrow, you have to do another Instagram post. And the next day, another. And the next day, another. Whereas if you work on a product and you create an experience for a customer or for a vendor and you're the kind of person who creates a world-class experience, then that person, after you've worked with them, goes out and continues to talk you up to everybody they meet. Hey, you're looking for a maternity photographer? You have to check out Rose Bloom Photography, right? They keep going and you've got a little ambassador going out and doing marketing for you. Whereas with Instagram, it's lost. If you spend that time on creating a world-class experience, then you're going to create all of these different people going about talking about your business. And I want you to ask the same question too when it comes to working with vendors. If you're a wedding photographer or a fashion photographer or just the kind of photographer who rubs shoulders with other people uh, in the industry in some way, shape, or form, how can you do the same process with them? Ask yourself those same three questions. What could I do to create that wow experience that when a vendor met me, interacted with me, worked with me, they were so floored that now when they work with clients in the future, they say, hey, you're looking for a photographer still? You have to check out this person. Once you do that, your marketing is going to totally change, which is why inside of my marketing membership at SignatureAddis.com that you can check out, we talk so much. We have a full um, workshop on exactly how to create referrals because referrals are the number one way that you can grow your business in a way that is exponential. It's compounding. The amount of effort that you spend and the time you spent on creating a better product and a better service overall is going to pay off. It's going to do this. All right, so that's it. What could you do to 10x the amount of value that you bring to your customers so that if you charge 10 times as much, it would still be worth it? What can you do to change your process so that you would still be profitable even if you charge one-tenth of what you're currently charging? And number three, what could you do if you had a customer as your last customer and you had to depend on them to bring referrals? What would you do there to make sure they were referring you? And how can you apply this to vendors as well? Okay, once you ask these questions, your business, your marketing is going to take off. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, do me a favor. Let me know what is your top tip for marketing below. What can you see applying this to? How can you change the way that you're doing your business right now? Any initial thoughts? I'd love to hear them. Let's have a conversation. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe for more great content, freebies, tutorials, resources, you name it. And I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, create something awesome. Peace.